Ampleforth College is a co-educational independent day and boarding school in the village of Ampleforth, North Yorkshire, England. It opened in 1802 as a boys' school, and is run by the Benedictine monks and lay staff of Ampleforth Abbey. The school is situated in a valley with sports pitches, wooded areas and lakes. Its affiliated preparatory school, St. Martin's Ampleforth, is located across the valley at Gilling Castle. History The college began as a small school for 70 boys founded by Benedictine monks, at Ampleforth Abbey, in 1802. The school formally constituted as a Roman Catholic boarding school in 1900. Various buildings were slowly added, including the school theatre which was built in 1909. The first performances took place in 1910, and in 1922 a cinema projector was acquired, but could not be used until the following year when electric lighting and central heating were installed. The first boarding houses were founded in 1926 to accommodate the growing pupil numbers. In 1929, the Abbey gained ownership of Gilling Castle and opened a preparatory school. Gilling Castle Prep merged with the college's junior school in 1992 before taking on its current name St. Martin's Ampleforth after absorbing another nearby prep school. In 2002, girls were admitted for the first time when the sixth form became co-educational. The first girls' boarding house, St. Margaret's, was opened in 2004. Co-education was extended to the year 9 and take for the 2010 a Euro 11 academic year and the college is now fully co-educational. Equals College Tramway equals, in 1895, the Northeastern Railway built a three-foot gauge tramway from Gilling Station on the Thisk to Moulton Line. The tramway was horse-drawn and provided coal for the college to produce gas. It also transported passengers in open wagons. The tramway closed in 1923 when the college changed to electric lighting. Education The school's primary concern is to provide pupils with not just academic, sporting and other achievements, but also a spiritual compass for life moral principles to give guidance in a secular world. Within a context where the Benedictine ethos permeates pupils a Euro unregistered trademark experience. The Good Schools Guide called the school an unfailingly civilized and understanding top co-educational boarding Catholic school that has suffered from time to time as a result of its long liberal tradition. The guide adds also that there is a refreshing openness and honesty about the place these days. Its academic admissions policy is not as exacting as that exercised by some other English public schools. As a result, the school is typically between 150 a euro 200 in the annual league tables of public examination results, although it was ranked sixth nationally in the 2004 value added table. It maintains a scholarship set, with about 5% of pupils gaining the offer of a place at Oxford or Cambridge. More than 90% go on to university. School life, though originally only a boys' school, the college is now fully co educational. In 2009, an Ofsted social care report said that the overall quality of care was outstanding. Religious life The monks at the abbey belong to the community of St. Lawrence, who trace their origins back nearly 1,000 years to medieval Westminster. Although there are 81 monks at Ampleforth, only about 12 are in contact with the students with another two in St. Martin's ample fourth. As a result of the school's association with the monks, religion is central to the life of the school. All pupils are expected to take religious education all the way through school. Mass is attended by all pupils twice a week, once on a weekday in the house, and once on Sunday in the Abbey Church. In addition, each house has prayers each morning and evening. The school has a boys' choir, the Scala Cantorum which sings at High Mass on Sunday and also at a choral mass on Friday nights during term time. The choir has made various recordings, broadcasts and tours throughout the world. There is also now a girls' choir, Scalapularum, which was recently noted in both newspaper and magazine. They sing a service every Thursday, and they sing on holy days of obligation in High Mass each Sunday. They have been on a tour to Dublin, and sang in many of the well-known churches there. Houses. The school is arranged into ten houses, with pupils living in separate house buildings, eating together as a house for lunch six days a week, and playing sport in inter-house competitions. 
Each house is named after a British saint. Boys' houses are St. Cuthbert's, St. Dunstan's, St. Edward Wilfred's, St. Hugh's, St. John's, St. Oswald's, and St. Thomas's, and girls, St. Aidan's, St. Bede's and St. Margaret's. Some houses are paired into buildings named after people who have been instrumental in the school's history. Hume House Building, named after Cardinal Basil Hume, combines St. Cuthbert and St. Edward Wilfred houses. Neville House Building combines St. Dunstan and St. Oswald houses. Bolton House Building was formerly St. Edward and St. Wilfred houses before their merger in 2001. Fairfax House Building combines St. Margaret and St. Hugh houses. Sport. Sport is a part of school life, with pupils participating in a variety of sports including rugby, shooting, tennis, cricket and football. As well as many rugby and cricket pitches set in the 2,000 acres of the valley, the school runs the St. Albans Centre, a sports centre with a large hall, a 25-metre swimming pool, three squash courts, and a fitness suite. SAC is also open to the general public for a fee. The school has a sporting history, mostly regarding rivals Seedberg School and Stonyhurst College, both of whom play ample fourth in about 20 boys and girls sports annually. The highlight of the sporting year is the annual rugby match between Seedberg and Ampel Forth in which the most recent match was won by Ampel Forth 41-0. Controversies. Equals fee fixing equals. In September 2005, Ampel Forth was one of 50 of the country's leading independent schools which were found by the Office of Fair Trading to be operating a fee fixing cartel in breach of the Competition Act of 1998. All of the schools were ordered to abandon this practice, pay a nominal penalty of a £10,000 and make ex gratia payments totaling £3 million into a trust designed to benefit pupils who attended the schools during the period in respect of which fee information was shared. However, Mrs. Jean Scott, the head of the Independent Schools Council, said that they were unaware that the law had changed. Equals other equals, the school has periodically experienced a drugs problem. A 2003 TV documentary made by director Dan Barraclough highlighted large-scale breaking of the school rules on smoking and some abuse of alcohol. Equals sexual abuse equals. Several monks and three members of the lay teaching staff molested children in their care over several decades. In 2005 Father Piers Grant Ferris admitted 20 incidents of child abuse. This was not an isolated incident. The Yorkshire Post reported in 2005, pupils at a leading Roman Catholic school suffered decades of abuse from at least six paedophiles following a decision by former abbot Basil Hume not to call on police at the beginning of the scandal. The college has since put in place a safeguarding policy which follows the local interagency procedures of the North Yorkshire Safeguarding Children Board and the guidance given in the Education Regulations 2010 and the National Minimum Standards for Boarding Schools. Notable Old Ampervidians. Equals Religion equals, Anthony Ainscuff, Prior of Ampel Fourth Abbey, 1961 Euro 1963, Athanasius Allanson, Benedictine monk, and Abbot of Glastonbury, 1874 Euro 1876, Thomas Burgess, Roman Catholic Bishop of Clifton, 1851 Euro 1854, Columba Cariel Wes, Monastery Founder, Ecumenist and Author, Ambrose Griffiths, Bishop of Hexham and Newcastle, Abjur Rahim Green, convert to Islam and founder of the IRA, John Cuthbert Headley, Roman Catholic Bishop of Newport, 1881 Euro 1915, Basil, Cardinal Hume, Abbot of Ampel Fourth Abbey, 1963 A. Euro 1975, and Archbishop of Westminster, 1975 A. Euro 1999. Equals politics. Law and business equals, Don Augusta N. Gira Cube Nimo de Aturbide y Herort, Prince Imperial of Mexico, Julian Asquith, 2nd Earl of Oxford and Asquith, Diplomat, Richard Norton, 8th Baron Grantney, Retired Banker and Politician, Sir Hugh Fraser, Secretary of State for Air, 1962 Euro 1964, Grand Duke Jean of Luxembourg, Grand Duke of Luxembourg, 1964 Euro 2000, Oberon Herbert, campaigner for Eastern European causes, Michael Nolan, Baron Nolan, law lord and first chairman of the Committee on Standards in Public Life, 
Andrew Bertie, first British Grand Master. Of the Knights Hospitaller since 1258, John George, H. M. Kintyre Pursilvent of Arms, Herald and Author. David Hennessy, 3rd Baron Windlesham, Lord Privy Seal and Leader of the House of Lords, 1973 Euro 1974, John Crichton Stewart, 6th Marquess of Butte, Chairman, Historic Buildings Council for Scotland, 1983 Euro 1988, and National Museums of Scotland, 1985 Euro 1993, King Moshushu II of Lesotho, King of Lesotho, Peter Kerr, 12th Marquess of Lothian, Scottish peer, landowner and politician, Michael Ancrum, 14th Marquess of Lothian, Deputy Leader of the Conservative Party, 2001 Euro 2005, Robert Shirley, 14th Earl. Ferrers, Sir Anthony Bamford, Chairman, J.C. Bamford Limited. John Burnett, Baron Burnett, former Liberal Democrat MP for Torridge and West Devon, 1997 Euro 2001, 2001 Euro 5, Life Peer, William Peel, 3rd Earl Peel, Lord Chamberlain, John Home Robertson, former Labour MP and currently member of the Scottish Parliament, Matthew Festing, 2nd British Grand Master of the Knights Hospitaller since 1258, Raymond Asquith, 3rd Earl of Oxford and Asquith, former diplomat and businessman, Major General Miles Fitzalan Howard, 17th Duke of Norfolk, Earl Marshal, Edward Fitzalan Howard, 18th Duke of Norfolk, Earl Marshal, Dominic Asquith, Ambassador to Iraq. 2006 a Euro 2007, Ambassador to Egypt, 2007 a Euro present. King Letsy III of Lesotho, King of Lesotho, Paul Moore, whistleblower sacked from HBOS. Equals Arts, Entertainment, Writing Equals, Herbert Railton, Illustrator, Roderick Ickener, Artist, Harmon Grisewood, Chief Assistant to the Director General of the BBC, 1955 a Euro 1964, Vincent Cronin, historical writer and biographer, Patrick Raintines, stained glass artist, John Bunting sculptor and teacher, Mark Burns, actor, Hugo Young, journalist, Paul Morrissey, film director, Andrew Knight, journalist, editor, and media magnate, Michael Whitehall producer, agent, television personality. Father of comedian Jack Whitehall, Piers Paul Reed, writer, Andrew Festing. British royal portrait painter, Stuart Reed, journalist, pundit, Lord Anthony Crichton Stuart, art historian, Red Morris, 4th Baron Killanin, film producer, Michael Abney Hastings, 14th Earl of Loudoun, noted because of the documentary Britain's Real Monarch, Julian Fellows, Baron Fellows of West Stafford, actor and writer. Conservative peer of the House of Lords, Anthony Gormley, sculptor, Edward Stoughton, Journalist, Martin Jennings Sculptor, Lou Edmonds Musician, Julian Wadham, Actor, Rupert Everett, Actor, Joe Simpson, Mountaineer and Autobiographer, Peter Bergen, Author, Print and TV Journalist, CNN, Adjunct Professor, Johns Hopkins University, John Micklethwaite, Editor-in-Chief of The Economist, James Honeybourne, TV and Film Director, James O'Brien, Radio Presenter and Journalist, Tom Waller, Film producer, Henry Hudson, artist, Guy Mankowski, writer, James Norton, film, television and stage actor. Equals Military equals, Major General Sir Freddy de Gingand, Chief of Staff to Field Marshal Montgomery, 1942 Euro 1945, Brigadier Simon Fraser, 15th Lord Lovat, pioneering officer of the British Army's commandos. Colonel Sir David Sterling, founder of the SAS. Major General Lord Michael Fitzalan Howard, Marshal of the Diplomatic Corps 1972 a Euro 1981, Sir Ian James Fraser MC, Director General of the Takeover Panel and Chairman of Lazards, Scots Guards 1942 46, Michael Olmand, Victoria Cross recipient. Killed in action on June 24, 1944, in Burma. Brigadier Andrew Parker Bowles, Soldier, Major General Sir Sebastian Roberts, GOC The Household Division 2003 Euro 2007, Major General Peter Grant Peterkin, Sergeant at Arms of the House of Commons, Captain Robert Nairak, George Cross, Intelligence Officer Murdered by the Provisional Irish Republican Army, 
Lieutenant Colonel Sir John Johnston, GCVO, MC, Comptroller of the Lord Chamberlain's Office. Equals Philosophy in Academia equals, Gabriel Terville Peter, Professor of Ancient Icelandic Literature and Antiquities, University of Oxford, 1953 Euro 1975, Henry Warnsborough, Master of St. Benet's Hall, Oxford, 1990 Euro 2004, Fred Halliday Academic, Fellow of the British Academy, Montague Burton Professor of International Relations at London School of Economics, Philip Lawrence, Headmaster and Murder Victim, William Dalrymple, Historian, Robert Maximilian de Gainesford, Philosopher. Equals Science and Medicine equals, John Polidori, Physician and Writer, Thomas Cecil Gray, Pioneered Modern Anesthetic Techniques, Peter Christopher Caldwell, FRS, Zoologist. Bill Inman, Pharmacovigilance Pioneer. Equals Sport equals, Edward O'Donovan Donovan Crean, English rugby union player who was part of the first official British and Irish Lions team that toured South Africa in 1910. Charles Grieve, cricketer who played for Oxford University and Guernsey, John Crichton Stewart, 7th Marquis of Butte, a Scottish peer and former racing driver. References External links, Ampleforth College official site, Ampleforth official umbrella site, Old Amplifications, Profile at the Good Schools Guide, Special Report